Breaking news. In an unexpected turn of events, the Detroit Lions are reportedly gearing up to activate rookie quarterback Hendon Hooker onto the 53-man roster sometime during the upcoming 2023 NFL season. This update comes as a surprise after coach Dan Campbell initially referred to Hooker's first year in the league as a redshirt year, hinting at a potential season-long absence due to his recovery from a torn ACL suffered in his final season at Tennessee. Before continuing, make sure you've already hit the like button to strengthen our fan community. Thank you very much. Still talking about Hendon Hooker, we really hope he helps us this season. A recent report from Dave Burkett of the Detroit Free Press has shed light on the Lions' plans for the talented third-round rookie. According to an inside source with knowledge of the situation, the Lions intend to bring Hooker off the non-football injury NFI, list and onto the active roster once he is deemed fully healthy. This news has ignited anticipation among Lions fans as they eagerly await Hooker's debut in the NFL. Despite the initial setback, Hooker has been making remarkable progress since being cleared to participate in practice earlier in the year. After undergoing a comprehensive rehabilitation process, he has gradually increased his workload, showcasing his ability to drop back and pass to members of the Lions training staff. Coach Campbell elaborated on Hooker's training routine, highlighting the structured nature of his practice sessions, which involve running plays, making reads, and executing throws. As the Lions approach a crucial roster cutdown deadline next Tuesday, questions loom about Hooker's readiness to join the active roster. The team must trim their player count to 53 by 4 p.m. Eastern time, leaving the decision-makers with a pressing choice. Should Hooker not be fully prepared, he will remain on the NFI list, barring him from participating in at least the first four games of the season. Coach Campbell mentioned that discussions about roster plans for the rookie quarterback have not yet taken place between him and general manager Brad Holmes. Adding complexity to the quarterback equation is the recent acquisition of veteran Teddy Bridgewater. While Bridgewater appears to have secured the backup quarterback role, the Lions face the dilemma of whether to retain a third quarterback on the roster. Bridgewater's adjustment to a new offensive system and the challenge of integrating with new receiving targets further complicate the decision-making process. Nate Sudfeld's struggles with ball security have also factored into the evaluation. Furthermore, Detroit proposed an innovative emergency quarterback rule, permitting teams to designate an additional quarterback on game day without activating them. However, Coach Campbell clarified that this rule change will not significantly impact the initial roster assembly for the upcoming week. The focus remains on evaluating the overall roster composition, considering factors such as the worth of retaining three quarterbacks, the quality of depth at other positions, and the possibility of utilizing practice squad options. As the 2023 season approaches, excitement and curiosity build around Hendon Hooker's potential impact on the Detroit Lions. With both fans and team officials eagerly awaiting his return to full strength, the dynamic of the Lions quarterback situation remains one of the key narratives to watch in the upcoming NFL season. We want to know your opinion, so leave your comment down below. I'll be back later to update you on everything happening behind the scenes of the Detroit Lions. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you soon, my friends. One pride!